Hello, welcome to Event Cinema's George Street. We have a really unique film festival starting soon, the Sydney Indie Film Festival, from the 18th of September to the 28th of September. And the festival director, Shayla Quadra, has done an amazing job putting together 137 films from around the world and an enormous amount of Australian films and a great shorts program featuring some great talented Australian short filmmakers. Some of those are with me here today, so I thought we might have a few words. Welcome, guys. Great to have you here, Ren, Felicity and Jamie. Ren, I might just start with you. you um, you've had a bit of a stellar career the last 18 months and you were recently on Sunrise Channel 7 just yesterday, I believe, to talk about uh, one or two of the films that are actually screening in the festival. How important is a festival like this, do you feel, for Australian filmmakers, certainly emerging young Australian filmmakers? Uh, well, it's op it opened doors for me. I was in the first Sydney Indie Film Festival with Brainless Killers, which I screened here a couple of times. All filmmakers have a feature film in their back pocket, but uh, my feature film, Domino Boys, these kinds of festivals help you meet the people mm. that will eventually help you on your crew. So, like Brainless Killers, I had the um, makeup artist that won the Academy Award for Mad Max, Adam Johansson and Damien Martin and um, so that was an amazing opportunity to work with them and on my next film in November I've, I've got Judd Wilde who was one of the polecats on Mad Max, he's going to roll a police car for me so when you have these festivals and you've got screenings around and there's a bit of buzz it's like it's much easier to get the crew that you want for the films that you want to make. So Felicity, just going to you for a moment, so listening to what Ren has to say, because I believe this is your first short film that you've made, is that correct? Yeah. So how exciting is it for you to put it into this kind of forum? Oh my God, it's so exciting. Like, just never dreamed that this would actually be happening, to be honest, when I went out, set out to make it. And just being a part of such an exciting festival with so many talented filmmakers and incredible films. It's very scary and very exciting at the same time, just to be able to share it with, with so many people. And what was the thing that made you, in the journey of your life, to say, hey, I'm going to make a short film now. It's something I think I might do. What? What was the reason for doing that? Um, I think I was just really ready to take the plunge. I'd wanted to do it for a long time, but I just, maybe I just didn't have the courage to do it. I, I didn't see myself as a filmmaker. Um, She's already a very talented actress. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, I wanted something to act in. Um, everybody has always said, create your own content as an actor. Yeah. Um, and it's so true because you just you have complete control over it and it's something to be really proud of and you can share it and I don't know, it's just such a rewarding experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jamie the fella in the mix today tell us a little bit about uh, your experience first of all similar to Felicity why you decided to make a, a short film and why a science fiction short film? Well firstly why not? Um, I think you know for years I wanted to do um, my own project and I didn't think I was good enough or I didn't have the right people on board and it was something that I wanted to do for a while and I just took the plunge and I'm very happy that I did that and I relied on my family and my friends and my my other work experience for the locations and the equipment and we got a great story and we just fleshed it out we had really good subtle performances and it's a British science fiction. I, I kind of wanted that angle, that European angle. Uh, I had a friend walk around South Bank in London with an iPhone strapped to his chest to get video stock footage. And um, I made props myself. So it was a massive learning experience for me as well. Ren, what date is your film screening? Uh, the Skydiver and the Scarecrow is screening on the 28th. Felicity? Uh, Tightly Ground is screening on the 21st. And Jamie? Uh, Neuroplastic is being shown on the 26th of September. Well, there you have it. Three amazing young Australian filmmakers with three very creative titles, I must say. Screening here at the festival between the 18th and the 28th of September, the Sydney Indie Film Festival. I suggest you come along and have a look at what these talented filmmakers are doing today, telling you the stories that are happening within our film culture and our film community. See you then.